hello welcome back today we'll be learning how to disable a button in flutter now this may sound easy but well there are some steps to take and let's just get started as you can see this is the default flutter skeleton app so yeah we'll just be having a checkbox and the button we want to disable let me create a checkbox list style checkbox list style yes so as we know if you do not create a checkbox list style here is how to do that so first of all i'll be creating a boolean value for my checkbox so i have bool value it should be false the default will be false at the beginning okay and we'll be using this value in our app so the value for the checkbox list will be equals to value and unchanged will be a function so if you have a parameter of value and then we say value equals to value like the value we defined will be equals to the change in the value and because it's not safety we have to add the mark the exclamation mark at the end so the checkbox list style needs a parameter it's not required though but to see what we are checking we need to add a title which should be a text and that's my text if i save it now you can see the checkbox you can see it is working fine all right so now we need our button and for this i'll be using an elevated button as we know we need the unpressed button that to be pressed and we need a text so okay and now here is where the work is and the unpressed if you have if this function here and we save it even though the function is null but the button will still be enabled the button is still enabled so how do we disable this button you don't just add the function to it like that you use a if or else statement and yeah i'll be using the ternary one so yeah we'll make sure that if value is equals to true we will have the function but if it's not equals to true it should be null because once the button is not it is disabled so now if you if it's true once you click it once you check the box that means it is true and if it's not checked it is false so here's yeah, just how to disable the button this is actually very useful if you want to hide some things in your app kindly subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next lesson